Right, look, here we have a young Spaniel who 10 days ago almost took me off my feet chasing after livestock, which he's done on a few occasions prior to me getting involved, which is why I got involved. And I just want to show you something. I'm walking the line here. I've not done anything with him with regards to recall. I've not done any obedience work with him. Particularly, I've just looked at his livestock avoid avoidance need. And I've done that with an electronic training collar that he's not wearing at the moment, just so you can see. Let me just show you. He's just got his regular collar on there. Okay. And I'm showing you this with this dummy to see that he has no issue with running after and chasing this dummy. Good boy. Good boy. And then I'm going to show you something else. And I'm going to take this dummy and I'll walk him this way. Just over here, look. My sheep. Now it's essential that he makes his own mind up whether there's an electronic training collar on him or not, whether there's any command, so whether the owner or me or anybody else is present or not, that he makes his own mind up not to approach those animals, whatever the temptation, right? So I'm just gonna take this from him. Good boy, please. Good boy. But as you can see, he likes it, and here we go. I move forward, he's got a degree more confidence because he associates me with being safe. But as far as he's concerned, rushing towards them under any circumstances, even when he's under the motivation of drive, is a bad idea. And that, for any dog owner, for any stakeholder, for any government advisor, for any politician, any minister, is a very, very good idea. For people with dogs in rural locations to instill, or people who visit rural locations to instill, that running towards those animals is to be avoided at all costs because the cost of doing so is absolutely horrendous to the dog, to the animal, to the dog's owner, to the animal's owner.